He wasn't getting his showers. He was absolutely filthy, filthy. Feces stuck on him. And I went to the administrator and he came down with a video about Alzheimer's patient that no one dies from not taking a bath. So based on my experience and what I've seen, I really don't have any confidence or trust anyone, any nursing home. There's no compassion for the elderly at all. And they, what hurts is that they get away with it. So whatever they did wrong, they were penalized, they were put in straight jackets, sent to the emergency room, heavily sedated, restrained. They didn't care if he ate his meals or not, they will say he didn't want it. I said, I'm sorry, that's not acceptable. I had gotten to the point where I had reported everything, this place, to the Department of Health. They called me and they complained that he was wandering and, well, they found him sleeping in other people's room. And, and I said, you don't know what room he belongs in. The hospital was really harassing me because by then he had run out of his insurance. The stay became so bad that the administration in the hospital started telling me that I had to pay or take him out. They were sending medicals to all the different nursing homes and they all had an excuse. And at this stage, I've decided to take him home. I have a lot of challenges with the AIDS. They were just generalizing how to treat him. You know, I don't have to worry about him mis being mistreated, not being fed or being abused. And uh, thank God I'm close enough that I could always run home if things get really out of hand. Because that's our culture also. Our culture is grandma, grandpa, and daddy and mom stays with you until they die.